Good morning, children of God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, speak through these words to the hearts of those who hear it and my heart. Holy Spirit, take control in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so today we're actually going to be looking at um, the story of how Jesus calls um, some of his disciples. And we're going to be specifically looking at the book of Luke chapter 5. I'm going to be reading from verses 1 to 11. Um, what I would like to say um, is Jesus initially had um, 12 followers also called disciples and so this is a story of how he calls his first um, few disciples okay so I'm going to read again it's Luke chapter 5 I'm going to read from verses 1 through to 11 so it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asking him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitudes from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, just in case you don't know, Simon's name was later um, changed to Peter. So now I'm in verse 4. Chapter 5, Luke chapter 5, verse 4. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to Jesus, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. Notice how Peter was very obedient. Even though he said, yes, we've tried fishing all this time. We were not able to catch anything. But hey, because you said it, I'm going to throw it down. Now I'm going to continue reading. I'm on verse 6. And we, when, when they had done this, they caught, they caught a great number of fish. And their net was breaking. So they cut so much fish that the net began to break. Now I'm reading from verse 7. So the signal to their partners, the other fishing partners, in the other boats to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. They cut so much fish that the boats began to sink. This is where they couldn't even find fish. He said he had toiled all night. But just because Jesus said the word and they threw the net. They caught so much fish that the boats began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. I mean, sometimes that's what tends to happen to us. When someone calls, when we see that um, God has called us, we feel so dirty and filthy, and we want to say, God, stay away from me. I don't think I can follow you. Let's see what happens next. Verse 9. So it says that for he, for Peter and all who were with him, were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Okay. And Jesus said to Simon, who is also Peter, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. So you will catch men. So that means that you will bring people to the kingdom of God. You will catch people from this world and bring them to Jesus. You will catch them and bring them to salvation. And then I'm going to read verse 11. So when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all. They left their lifestyle. They were fishermen. They left their lifestyle and they followed Jesus. So as we can see, we have James, John, Simon, so James, John, 
and Simon and they followed Jesus. And so these were the few, the first few of the 12 disciples that Jesus originally had in his lifetime. Remember disciples means follower of Christ. So I want you to think today, are you really a follower of Christ? Would you desert everything and follow Jesus if he asks you to? Are you ready to give up everything for Jesus if the need arises? Because as you can see, being a disciple sometimes entails that. It certainly entails that when it comes to your priorities. Your heart should be more focused on Jesus than on any other thing. And your reward is so much more than you can ever imagine. So I admonish you today to follow Jesus. Follow him completely. Be a true disciple of Jesus. And he will make sure you never regret it. The way may seem rough and turbulent sometimes, but in the end, it will all be done. Remember, our end is not in this world. God bless you.